open face square, okay? Let me say that again. They, they open to keep the club face square, okay? Notice I didn't say they open to square the club face, okay? That's not what they do. They open to keep the club face square. All right, we're gonna talk about getting those hips clear in the golf swing. This is something everybody's wanting. They always, I, people come to the lesson tee, hey, what's wrong? Why are you here? All right, I can't hit my driver, all right? What do you think that is? Oh, because I don't clear my hips. So let's talk about that first because there's a big, big misconception on this idea of clearing the hips because again, we see a lot of that there's a lot of you know, social media stuff that's talking about you know, oh, pros, they're clearing, they're doing this, they're doing that. And we have to understand what clearing the hips really does, okay? So let's start it off here as we build our swing, okay? I'm gonna get my ball set up here and we start going through the swing here. And I've got the pressure played out because this is a big part of how you get your hips to spin, okay? And we're gonna talk about if you really do want that as you go, but the thing that happens is when we go to hit the ball, okay, our hips will open and they open to keep the club face square, okay? Let me say that again. They, they open to keep the club face square, okay? Notice I didn't say they open to square the club face, okay? That's not what they do. They open to keep the club face square, all right? So here's why most people can't do this, or they can't get, they're not seeing their hips move, all right? Well, what happens is when they go through, they come down, that club face is open, okay? Now it's usually like over here, but that face is open. So if you were to start clearing your hips, that's going to keep the club face in that open position. Squaring or turning your body keeps the face open. So if you already have it way open, you're not going to want to do that. And our brain is really, really smart. It's a taskmaster. We've talked about this before. It knows that that's not going to work. You are going to hit it way that way. All right. So it tries to help. It says, hey, I know this club face needs to get squared up. You're trying to turn. That's not going to work. So what do we see? Shut down, see if we can square, all those things that most people do not like to see in their golf swing, okay? So how do we start to get our hips open? Well, we have to understand, you have to get your hands and arms to do the right things with the golf club. So a lot of people will say, oh, you know, Scott, you don't believe in rotation, you don't believe in lag or, you know, any of those things. I never said that, but, what I don't think happens is we create those things. Those things are just things that happen if you do the right things, right? And you move your arms, you train your arms, you will see a lot of the right things going on, okay? So what we'll do is we go up, when we come down, you'll notice here, and when you watch really good players, as they lower, the club face is getting into a position where it is starting to look more down towards the golf ball. Now, some people won't do that because they are big drawers of the golf ball because that club face is going to be, actually, they want it open, okay? They want it open because they want the ball to start right and hook back, okay? That's a very, very big ask, especially if you're a slicer. Okay, and that's something you can fine tune later on. But you right now want to get to a point where I can actually get the club face square. So I like to see it, if it's straight up and down with the club face is right there as I'm coming down, I like to see it just ticked in a touch for most people. Okay, so I've just ticked the club, the toe in, the club face in like this. Okay, so you should see the toe if I'm looking at it from my angle. I should see the toe, okay, out towards the ball instead of the heel. If the heel is out towards the ball more than the toe, that's gonna cause a problem, okay? So you have to get the face, and you have to understand how to square it up 
as you're going through to hit the golf ball, okay? And if I start doing that, okay, all of a sudden, when I go to hit it, you're gonna find that it's a lot easier. Your body's gonna wanna start turning as you go through, just automatically, okay? Now, for some people, we're gonna say, hey, you're gonna hit it and that ball, you're gonna, maybe you're a slicer, you're gonna start hitting it straight, oh, but then it starts developing a little bit more into a hook, okay, or a pull, all right? Then we would start saying, all right, we are very good with our hands and arms, we now want to make sure that body is opening up enough so we can keep that face square, okay? So what I have people do is what we're going to work on is go up, come down. I love for people to rehearse this position when they come down. Get that face pointing down towards the golf ball. Just if you can master this position, you're going to be in good shape. The other piece to this is, and this is why I'm on the pressure board, is You'll notice as I'm doing this, I have to shift to the front side of the board, okay? Your hips are going to open up because they use this front leg. This front leg pushes, okay? And that spins your body. It creates a torque, all right? That is what you're trying to create. Now, here's the big thing. You can only get your pressure to the front foot. You have to get there first so then it can push, okay? Here's what most people make the mistake of doing. They get up to the top of their swing and then they say, I'm going to spin, okay? They're pushing off the wrong foot. So again, that's going to take us over. Club is out, club face is open, okay? Low point's gonna be very bad. You're gonna have a lot of issues and then what ends up happening is, again, the brain kicks in and it says, all right, I'm gonna stall this out because I gotta catch everything back up. We don't want that, okay? So what you start to realize is, if I go back, if I rotate too early and then I'm gonna stall out, there's actually no way, I can't shift, it's so much effort to get forward. I can't rotate and move forward, okay? I have to do it, I have to do one or the other, okay? And so what I wanna see is I wanna move forward first, okay? Forward, load up on this leg, and then as I'm bringing this club in that's nice and square, I get pressure on this leg that will then cause me to open up my hips, okay? So again, what are you doing? Again, I don't, I'm not somebody that says, hey, I don't like rotation, I don't like to see the body move, However, I do want to see the correct things happening that are going to allow that rotation to happen. That is the big key as opposed to saying, all right, hey, you just got to clear more. Again, if you're somebody that's slicing it, that doesn't make sense as you're going through your swing. It just doesn't make sense because it's not going to help the cause, right? So that's going to be the big issue as we're going through, right? So again, what I like to see people do, they go back. They come forward, club face is squaring up. The hands are in a circle. The club is back in the circle down here. And then what happens is that lead leg starts to push. Now I can turn and deliver that golf club into the ball, okay? So let's just go ahead, I'll hit one for you. Okay. And let's play that back for you as we go. Let's just show you, again, my hips are moving. You can actually see the board spin a little bit, okay? That's showing how the feet are working in the golf swing. There is pressure. That is what is activating everything as the body is going. And that's one of the great things about the board that's going to give you a feel for how things are moving, okay? So if you have any questions about it, it's a big topic. You can leave those comments down below. Again, I love the discussions we've been having in the comments. Keep those coming. And always click that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.